back in the Savage Kitchen with executive chef Scott Savage and special guest pastry chef Jeremy Garcia. Nice and to meet you. Nice <laughs> meeting you too. And today we're not talking about food, we're doing desserts. That's right. And we're actually making a frozen souffle. It looks really difficult. How hard is it? It's not hard at all. A lot of people look at or they hear about hot souffles and they think it's really tough because of the time it takes to make and then how delicate you have to be when you're putting it in the oven yep. and taking it out of the oven. But a frozen souffle has none of that difficulty because you're basically taking a, a standard mousse, we're piping it so that it looks like a souffle, and then we're just throwing it in the freezer. And then when you pull it out and you show it to your guests, it looks like it's got this nice height. So it looks kind of like that nice hot souffle you've got. And it's a really versatile uh, recipe. Today we're going to be doing a Grand Marnier souffle, um, but it's just, it's just it's really easy to do. And the main trick to, to get that height is um is is the is the the glass that you're using. Yep. So um you can use a wide variety of, of different containers. Uh this one's about a four ounce cup and then all we did was take a little bit of standard parchment paper, we just tie, taped it into a little cylinder on top. And then what we're gonna do is when we pipe that mousse inside there, we're gonna fill it up to the top, level it off, freeze it. And once it's frozen we can peel that off and it's gonna look like you have that nice baked souffle that come up over the rim of the glass. So this is what gives you your illusion. Yes. All right, piping, what is it? Uh, it's pretty easy. All you need, <laughs> all you need it is sounds a little complicated, but it's <laughs> yeah, it's not. it's a really easy way to basically um, to to move a mousse or you know any kind of like thick ingredient to something else. If you don't have a piping bag or you don't want to go purchase some, you can get them at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. Uh, if you don't want to get some, you can easily just spoon it in there with a spoon, and level it off. So Perfect. It's not totally required, but it definitely makes it a lot faster of a process. So you don't need to spend a lot of money to do this. Yeah delicious dessert. Yeah, and I mean even if you don't have um, special ramekins or glasses at home, you can just take standard disposable cups. I mean, for my, for my wife's birthday two weeks ago, we did a souffle like this and we just piped it in the cups and froze them and it was really, really easy. We just hand out the glasses to everybody, pour a little bit of sauce on there and they were done. They just throw it away and everyone loved it. So. No dishes. No dishes whatsoever. Perfect. See, so okay. you guys are ignoring me. I'm just over here <laughs> playing with the food, having fun with it. This looks like marshmallow actually, Jeremy. Really what does. do you got here? Okay, this is a, it's a Swiss meringue. Uh, the recipe is online. Uh, when we're basically using the meringue to help lighten up the mousse. You don't want to use all heavy cream because it's going to have way too much fat in there. I guess they're probably going to like the flavor, but they're not going to appreciate all those extra calories. So we use a nice meringue <laughs> to give it sweetness and to lighten it up a bit. Perfect. Um, so yeah. it becomes Booze. a little airy. Yeah. Yeah. So it becomes a little bit airy. And then we've got uh, our their Grand Marnier or Grand Gala, or I mean, you can use really kind of any orange triple flavor. Sec, even triple sec. on that one. Yeah. Or if you don't like alcohol, you can always just add fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You can do standard fruit if you want to melt down a little bit of chocolate. You can fold your meringue or heavy cream oh, into the chocolate. Love you can that. take some raspberry puree, or you, you, you can uh, get some hazelnut paste, or maybe some pistachio paste, even just standard peanut butter. And if you dust it with a little bit of cocoa powder, you get a nice like peanut butter and chocolate souffle. Reese's right. peanut butter cups. Exactly. So we have. <laughs> this was our. It, so it's, it's called a Swiss meringue. Okay, because meringue. Because we're heating up egg whites and sugar and whipping it that way, Perfect. so that it's nice and Airy. cooked all the way through. There's no risk of salmonella poisoning. Okay. This is our whipped cream? Yes, yeah, so it's just standard whipped heavy cream. It's about two cups of heavy cream there. Perfect. Are we mix them? Yeah, so what we're going to do now is mix. Let's get going. So we got our big bowl here. So if you want to just zest that orange in here, I got about a half a cup of orange juice. And zest is just simply the rind of the fruit. Yes, it's that, that external part of the orange there Oops, that's going to have stop. all those nice oils. That's going to give you this great the orange, orange color. Flavor. Yeah. Yeah. You get down to that white, it turns bitter. You don't want that. Yeah, that's right. So you're doing a great job. Yep, yeah. you're doing perfect. And you can keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and add this meringue. Oh, this play. I want to play. Burning, <laughs> up, burning up some calories actually zesting this. <laughs> is this easily incorporated together, Jeremy? Well, the uh, yeah, Swiss meringue looking like just... the marshmallow. It thinks like, almost would think that it's going to be kind yeah. of stiff. All but... we're really going to do is just dump all these ingredients in here, whisk it up until it's nice and smooth, and then we're done. Nice. So Perfect. you don't have to worry about like being delicate the with a meringue simple. or folding or anything like that. It's just add it all and whip it up and go. And then you just put it in the freezer and you just let it sit there. Yep. About four to six hours is pretty good. Uh, if you've got a party that night and you make it probably before noon, you should be fine. This smells so refreshing. Yeah, lots of great orange <laughs> flavor. And this great orange flavor would go great with like maybe a little bit of vanilla sauce or you could even do some chocolate sauce if you like that chocolate orange flavor. Do you, you want to whip one. this or do you want to fold this? Uh, I like to just go ahead and whip it up. Just that way you can get a nice, smooth, consistent product. Yeah. That's enough. That's, it. That's perfect, yeah. Okay. And I didn't get down to the white, so exactly. I did okay. Yeah, great. And that really did come together quick. I was wondering about how the Swiss yeah. meringue and the cream would come together. Yep, and that's it. And then uh, I'll get this bag ready for you. Perfect. 
You could even take probably like a Ziploc and cut yeah. the end off of it yeah, as well. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Alright. It looks airy. It doesn't look like it could do a lot of damage to your thighs. <laughs> it, yeah, well, that's one of the deceiving things about it. So, but um, the great thing about it is you can do just a little bit. It's a really nice light dessert. You serve it with a lot of fresh fruit. You want a little more on that, Jeremy, or you good? Uh, yeah, a little more? That's probably good. Yeah. Okay. Is there any secret to putting a certain amount into the bag before you get going? Um, you or? don't. You definitely don't want to overfill it. Yeah. If you get it up too high, you're not going to be able to close it. It's going to shoot all over the place and get all over your hands. You don't want that. Yeah. So it's better to just fill it up maybe halfway, uh, pipe that out, and then refill it as you need to. Make it work workable for your hands and your, your, the strength of your hands, too. I've noticed that. They, my guys, they fill the pipe bags all full of mashed potatoes and you're like, Ugh. Yeah. And no. they're working like, oh, to yeah. actually <laughs> You're like working that. to get no. them out of there. So exactly. make it easier on yourself. And then we're just going to cut that tip off. And the great thing about this piping bag is I can just, you know, put it in here. And then as I'm filling it up, you just move it around a little bit. And then when you get up to the top, just kind of pipe it so it's close to the edge. Oh, that looks so pretty. It comes out very easily, and it is airy. Mm -hmm. And then we can just take a small offset spatula or whatever you want, and then just kind of level it on top. And then just pop that out of the freezer, and you're done. That's I it. Like I smell orange. It's just yeah. it's, yeah, it's yeah, really strong. Yeah. So we're bringing a little bit of sweetness with an easy recipe to your own dinner table. For the full recipe, please visit us at koa.com and click on Savage Kitchen.